Good morning everyone. I hope you are fit and fine. In the last class I told you about do while loop. In today's class I will explain do until loop. So let us start today's class. Do until loop. Children do until loop is similar to the do while loop the only difference between the two loops is that in the do until loop the execution of the loop continue as long as the condition is false right? do until loop will run till the condition is false if the condition is true then do until loop will be stop right in the other uh, do uh, do while loop will run till the condition is true and do until loop will run till the condition is false this is the only difference between both loops do while loop jab tak condition true hoti hai tab tak loop aapka run hota hai and do until loop run till the condition is false understood i repeat once again do until loop and do while loop both are the same only one difference is that do while loop run till the condition is true and do until loop will run till the condition is false do while loop condition true jab tak condition true hoti hai tab tak run karta hai and if the condition is false then do while loop will be stop and in the do until loop loop will be run till the condition is false and if the condition is true then do until loop will be stop this is the basic difference between both loops i repeat once again do until loop will run till the condition is false and if the condition is true then do until then do until loop will be stop now the general form of do until loop is this is the general form of do until loop how we write do until loop in the program we write firstly we write do until and after that we write condition then we write set of statement and in the last we write loop right first line we write do until then condition after that we write comma we write statement all statement which we want to repeat then loop i hope you understand let's take another uh, let's take an example on page number 82 a is equal to 1 then do until condition condition a is greater than 3 then print a then a is equal to a plus 1 then loop in this program the initial value of a is equal to 1 right then line number 2 do until loop check the value of a if the value of a is greater than 3 then loop will be stop but start in the starting the value of a is, go, is equal to 1 and it is not and it is not greater than 3 condition is false then print a after printing the value uh, a the value of a will be increased by 1 Now one plus one is equal to two. Again, do until loop check the value of a. In this time, value of a is equal to two. Then two is not greater than three. Value uh, condition is false. Then print again. Print a. This time, it prints two. 
and after painting 2 value of a again increase by 1 2 plus 1 is equal to 3 then again do until loop check the value of a now this time value of a is equal to 3 to 3 is greater than 3 is not greater than 3 again condition is false then again program print value of a uh, and after printing the value of a the uh, value of a again increase by 1 now this time 3 plus 1 is equal to 4 again do until loop check the condition now this time value of a is equal to 4 and 4 is greater than 3 this time condition is true then loop will be stop ok you can see ok now 1 2 3 is display here right now on page number 83 let us write the same program using the two types of do loop on page number 82 uh, on the page number 82 uh, is, uh, example is given let us have a look on this example we can write same program using both loops do while loop and do until loop right let us see one by one cls i skip first line cls x is equal to 10 do while do while x is greater than or equal to 1 print x x is equal to x minus 1 and loop will be stop right so here the initial value of x is equal to 10 do while check the condition check the value of a uh, check the value of x uh, at the first time x is greater than or equal to 1 condition is true then print x and after printing x uh, the value of x decrease by 1 10 minus 1 is equal to 9 again do while loop check the value of x this time value of x is equal to 9 again condition is true then print again print x and value of x is decreased by 1 same process run same process run till the value of x is not greater than 1 press f5 to run the program you can see 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 this is the output let's write same program with the help of do until loop cls x is equal to 10 do until condition is x is less than 1 then print x x is equal to x minus 1 loop now in this now this time value of x is, is equal to 10 then do until loop check the value of x if x value of x is less than 1 so this time value of x is equal to 10 so 10 is not less than 1 condition is false then print x again after printing x value of x decrease by 1 then again do until loop check the value of x 9 is not less than 1 condition is false then print x the same process will run till the condition is true press f5 you can see output is the same in both loops output is the same 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 right i hope you understand now you can write you can write condition at the bottom of the loop you can write uh, generally we can write condition at the starting of the loop but you can also pl place the condition 
at the end of the loop i want to say that generally we can write condition at the starting of the loop either do while or do until loop but if you write the condition at the end of the loop then program will be same and the output will be the same how let's take another example on page number 83 it is given now i is equal to 5 do print i print i i is equal to i plus 1 then loop and after that we keep uh, condition while i is less than 2 right you can give condition at the end of the loop also press f5 okay now you can wait understood right you can give condition at the starting of the loop or you can give condition at the end of the loop in the both situation program outputs will be same exiting a loop you can exit a loop before the loop comes to an end on of on its own you can exit from a loop before the loop comes to an end on its own means if you want to get out of the loop before the loop ends then you can do it with the help of the sum statement right if you want to exit from a loop loop before the loops to an end then you can do also agar aap loop end hone se pehle hi loop se bahar nikalna chahte hain to aap kuch statement ka use karke aap uska aap loop se bahar aa sakte hain right i hope you understand i repeat once again if you want to get out of the loop before the loops ends then you can do the same with the help of the sum statement what is the statement let's see we use exit for statement in the for next loop if you are using for next loop then you can exit for loop by with the help of the exit for statement right and if we, you are using ex do while loop or do until loop then we use exist do statement to exist before exit loop before before it comes to an end understood you can exist for next loop by with the help of exit for statement and we can exit do while loop or do until loop with the help of the exit do statement right let's have an example on page number 84 it is given open page number 84 cls for i is equal to 1 to 10 then print enter the side of the square then input side then if side is less than 0 then then exit for then print perimeter of square is equal to 4 into side next i next i then print 
the programs in programs ins in this program we can find out perimeter of a square user can find out 10 different squares parameter one by one and if user enter side greater than 0 then he can find out perimeter of the square and if he enter side below than 0 then he then the program will be stop let's see okay now enter the side of the square if we enter 2 then press it after enter the value press enter button perimeter of a square is equal to 8 you can see 2 into 4 is equal to 8 program will again ask the to enter the value if we enter value 6 then perimeter of the this square is equal to 6 into 24 right and if we enter negative value or if we enter value below than 0 like uh, minus 1 then what happen then program will be stop As you can see the program ends right I repeat once again press F5 enter the value enter the value perimeter of square is equal to 8 if we use 50 and perimeter of 60 so in this way you can find out 10 perimeter of a 10 square one by one and if we enter negative value or value which is below than zero then program will be stop right i hope you understand watch this video carefully and if you have any problem then please call me okay thank you